I can skip it to the end. Hello, my lovelies. Yes, it's me off the telly. It's always a dilemma for managers in the public-funded sector. How do you reward hard-working staff without attracting criticism for spending council tax in the wrong way? Well, Monday night's extra factor with the City of York Council was achieved by sponsorship and straightforward blagging. From the Park Inn providing the venue for free to the press sponsoring an award. It was a glittering occasion which didn't need an overdraft to pay for it. Even the voice of X Factor on telly gave his services free. There's only ten seconds to go. Please, take your seats. Well, I think everybody knows that great team performances are built on confidence and celebrating achievement. Great performances aren't built on complacency or arrogance or a lack of hard work, but they're definitely built on team spirit and confidence. And this is what this evening's all about, building the team spirit and celebrating what we do really well. Around 7,000 staff work for City of York Council. That makes it one of the biggest employees in York. The flood management team picked up the Cabinet Award for Special Services. It's a bit humbling, really, to be uh, put forward for this award because even of the people who are on the stage, uh, it's a small fraction of the people of, uh, who work for the council who put in enormous numbers of hours in all sorts of weathers, laying sandbags, manning pumps, taking calls from concerned residents uh, and, and just basically uh, giving a service to the people of York. These people, of course, aren't, uh, aren't just employed for flood work. They do all sorts of other work. Their day job is nothing to do with this. Uh, and yet they volunteer to come out at all hours, in all weathers, uh, and put those defences in. And we've never had an occasion where uh, we haven't had the staff to do that sort of thing. Um, so it's, it's really good to know we've got that support and the people of York have got that protection. Another of the night's awards went to the team behind York 800, which included events like Eborvox. Every day you came into work and things ran smoothly in this city. And they have run smoothly in this city. Ignore the naysayers. We've had an absolutely brilliant year. I am so, so proud of this city. And, and the last 18 months has been the proudest of my life. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of the hearts of the Cabinet leader and all of the directors of all the directorates, thank you so, so much. The press sponsored the Unsung Hero Award, which was presented by the editor, Steve Hughes. My name's Alison Camis and I won Unsung Hero of the Year Award. Um, and I actually can't believe I've won it because... Well, I've never won anything in my life before, but my job is volunteer lead and I work with volunteers and to be honest, it's the volunteers that do the work. I, I get up and I get paid for coming to work and working with them. They get up every morning and they make a difference to young people and get absolutely nothing for it. So, yeah, it feels fantastic that I've won something, but I wish they could have been here and I hope next year there's a volunteer award. And Team of the Year went to the Sport and Active Leisure Service. Hi, I'm Joe Gilliland and I'm from the Sport and Active Leisure Team. And I'm Paul Ramskill from the Sport and Active Leisure Team too. And we're a team in the city that is about getting residents of the city a little bit more active more often. Um, we run a whole range of sports activities, we run a whole range of physical activity um, programmes um, out in community centres and in our leisure centres and swimming pools in the city. Um, a, a bit nerve-wracking. Um, been, you know, asked to go up with uh, with all your colleagues, but um, but it was a, a really great feeling and, and great to be nominated. Well, I just want to say that we do appreciate the work that you do, and we do understand that without you guys, there isn't a council, and so we very much appreciate uh, everything uh, that you do. And I think the, the awards today are incredibly well deserved by people. But it's interest, interesting seeing this room done out in the way it is. The last time I was in here was during the uh, Monks Cross banning application. <laughs> when actually I was sitting probably about there, eating lots of Harry Bar, wondering whether I would have a job the next day. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's another matter. But thank you for everything that you do, and I hope you have a great and wonderful night. Thank you.